What's going on, guys? So, obviously, F1 2018 dropped um, literally about six hours, six, seven hours ago. So, um, obviously, in terms of modern, I was straight on that to see how things work, if things work. Um, the helmet model is a little bit different this year, but uh, more or less the principles are the same. Um, stuff like that. So, I'd say if you have to dig through my channel to try and find uh, the 2017 career mode helmet tutorial, um, I figured I'd just redo it for the 2018 game, um, condensing it a little bit more because, um, you know, it's relatively straightforward, you ain't got to do much, but anyway, we'll get into it. The first few things you've got to do, you've got to download uh, three things. The first one being the ERP Archiver by Ryder. All three of these links will be in the description, so just go to the page, uh, click on download now. If you want to donate, feel free. I've already donated a bit um, due to how good it is. So once that downloads, go to the second one which is the Intel texture for Photoshop. So you're going to hit the download plugin, and then on this screen, it's going to have at the top the zip, and then that will also go to your downloads bar. Um, and the third and final one will be the 3D helmet model. Now, at the time of recording this, it wasn't uploaded, but it is up now. Um, so it'll, it'll look like this, except it will obviously go straight into the thing. So all you do is just hit the download now button, um, and then we'll be able to get into it. So obviously, <coughs> you're going to need the game, you're going to need Photoshop. So what you want to do is you're going to want to open Photoshop um, and then import the 3D helmet model uh, wherever you saved it. So in this case, it's on my desktop, so you just open it up and it's going to come up and open as blank. There's going to be no textures on it. So this is essentially your blank canvas of uh, what you want to create, your helmet and stuff like that. Um, whether you're importing someone's that you've downloaded and that you maybe want to tweak or change or whatever. But in this case, I'm just going to load in my uh, career mode helmet. Um, for Alfa Romeo, so we're going to chuck this in, and um, it does look quite nice if I do say so myself, you'll see in a second when it goes onto the model, so you drag it into that one after you um, open that up, and have a little look around, and um, just see if there's anything that needs tweaking, in my case it took me about an hour and a half to uh, do this helmet, so um, once everything's, you're happy with everything, you want to go back to it, and you're going to want to save it as... Um, Intel Texture DDS, that's very important that you do that one. Name it wherever you want, save it wherever you want, that doesn't matter. Uh, make sure it's the Intel one. And then for helmet, you're going to do color and then BC1 sRGB. Now, if you don't do this, the color's going to be off a little bit. You want to do auto generate on the mip maps, and that one's saved. So, you're going to move over to the ERP archiver. Now, wherever you saved it, it'll be wherever. So, um, we're going to open this up. We're going to need to find your game. So, um, it'd be in the Steam folder, so I've got a shortcut to mine. So once you're in there, you want to go to Asset Groups, Animation Package, Scenes, In Car Driver 2018, and then open this up. Now, to make things easier, we'll just search for COM. And um, if you if you saw last year's, you'll know that we always do COM6. It just makes things a lot easier. They're going to go Import, and then Import um, your helmet that you just done. Normally, there'll be a thumbnail, but I haven't installed that yet, so that kind of sucks. So then it's going to ask you to go back in and redo it. So this time you go to character package, drivers, mail, and then it will have the individual files for the helmet. Find COM6, change the D, you can just hit save, um, and it will overwrite it straight away. And then you're going to want to hit save on it that itself, and then we're ready to jump in the game and change some of the settings. Now, depending on what helmet you picked or whatever you you don't have to do COM6, but I just find it's relatively easier and quite a lot of the community helmets um, for career are COM6 which is I think that's quite cool to be fair that that's actually how it works now but um, so go down to find um, the one by well, I, I can't even read the guy's name you don't have to change anything else just change that and then um, you don't always have to do this but just to see if it works like how it looks and stuff like that you can always um, just jump in time trial obviously it, it's for career mode uh, we'll work in career mode. I've got a snippet at the end of this that shows it obviously in career mode um, But there's a few screen there's a few screenshots and stuff like that if you want a bit more in depth Of how this works or how to do this The 2017 one would be a better option The same principle of this different stuff. So obviously, as you can see There is a beautiful helmet with the star of the 25. We're gonna go to the photo mode and have the butchers and just um just have a have a look have a look around and um for, um, the first time I uh, recorded doing this, I realised that my helmet wasn't as good as I thought it was. Um, because um, originally I saved it without SRGB, which is obviously 
the terms of star on the top pink because I don't I don't want to pick star so um it's really so far, not much has changed so far as I can see. In terms of the 3D models, they are slightly different. We can't open them in um, 3D sandwich. So quite a few models use that to um, externally do liveries and stuff like that. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not that much difference. Like, I'd be a little bit shocked if we couldn't import the 2017 cars into this, just on the premise that the ERPs look almost the same. Um, obviously, the tyres will probably be a little bit different, which always seems to be the issue. But there was workarounds for that. So, so far, considering comparing this to last year with how difficult everything was and in terms of the saving and then not having the uh, application to actually be able to edit, edit any of the skins and stuff like that, we're off to a pretty good start. Like, I know there's been a few bugs with the game so far. I've seen a few people say stuff... Um, and I've had a few issues. I had a few issues um, with 4K on ultra high. Um, what was it? Graphics. Like, it, it was really bugging me. Um, it was a picture on my Twitter of it. Um, it, was a bit, it was a bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie. But in terms of modding, we can save the games. That's always a good start. Um, the textures are actually doable and stuff like that. But... Um, Next thing I'm probably going to look at end up doing is probably going to be the shark fin because obviously we haven't got the um, names on the shark fin yet. Shark fin engine cover. God damn it. Either way, um, I want to try and mess around with that. See if there's anything we can do with it. And um, you never know. There might even be a way that we can even tinker around with that. Maybe find a few extra bits. But that's more or less been it. Again, very short tutorial. Um, there's not much to it this year. In terms of like tutorials for modern, it's probably not going to really be that much different to be honest with you because it's basically the same as last year. So I'm going to run the snippet of the career mode just so you can see it. Um, that's been it for me guys. Hope this has helped some of you at least. Um, need any help, check the other one. Until then guys, bye bye.